we begin right now with reaction to the abrupt resignation of the police monitor. WDSU News anchor Latanya Norton spoke to the mayor and police chief about the resignation. I think people have to really look at this picture. Why are these people suddenly leaving these positions? There's a reason behind it. So what does this mean for the future of the police monitor? Latanya joins us live now from City Hall. Latanya, what does it mean? Well, Scott and Randy, in essence, it means we're right back at square one, finding another police monitor. You'll know that Neely Moody was only in office for a month before his sudden resignation that we were first reported on yesterday. The entire process has been years in the making, and Superintendent of the New Orleans Police Department, Warren Riley, says that his resignation is a huge setback for the city of New Orleans. Now, LaTanya, Superintendent Riley also says that he and Moody had already started working together, right? That's right. Superintendent Raleigh says that he had met with Moody at least once and that Moody had given him a letter outlining different areas within the police department that they, he had concerns about that they wanted to work on together. In fact, he also says that Neely Moody had uh, arranged to meet with district commanders within the police department as well. Now, Latanya, the former police monitor Neely Moody also reviewed a scathing report about the inspector general's office under Sarah Soli. What can you share with us about that? Well, the report raises lots of questions about the decisions made by Robert Sarasoli during his time here in New Orleans as the inspector general for the city. It outlines several things that uh, could raise questions. One thing in particular, the hiring of an executive director for the Ethics Review Board. This is a former student of Robert Sarasoli's, and also we're told that, um, according to the report, that she was hired for $90,000 a year as an annual salary. Now, Sarasoli disputes that. He says it was only $70,000 a year, but uh, anyway, it, she was fresh out of college. She was a former student of his, and before that, she had only made about $10 an hour.